I'm going to talk about how to set up your Wi-Fi router safely. This is in January 2019 and this information will change soon. Okay, first of all, how do you set up wireless security? You have several options in there. There's WPA2 AES, WPA2 TKIP, there's WEP, WEP, there's WPA. And then on new ones, there will be WPA3. So which ones do you choose? Well, at this, at this moment, January 2019, WPA3 is not an option yet. You need to pick WPA2 AES unless you have some incompatible devices, in which case you may have to pick WPA2 AES slash TKIP, meaning it supports both. So set it to the highest security possible, which is WPA2 AES when you can. WPA3 is the highest level standard and it's going to be very hard to hack. Unfortunately, in January 2019, there are no devices supporting it. Windows 10 will release a version of Windows in April 2019 that will support WPA3. The question now is, can you update old routers to use WPA3? Most of those companies probably will not issue updates to old routers. So you may have to buy a new router when this comes up. Now this is a very important thing to, to think about. So sometime from April on to the end of the year, you may need to buy a new router that supports WPA3. This is very important because WPA3 is not hackable compared to WPA2, the current set of routers, that's the current standard. What about passwords? The passwords on your Wi-Fi routers, I have a password video that explains how much time it would take to brute force uh, or use a dictionary attack on a router. So the way to avoid this is to use 12 digits, 12 characters on your password, your Wi-Fi password with alphanumeric characters, upper, lower, numeric, and then a special character. One more major problem is what is the password for your router admin account? Most of you will leave that to the default, which is often admin password or admin admin or something like that. That will be so hackable. That will be so hackable. There's so many hacks on that already. So get rid of that, change the password to something else. Wi-Fi routers are used to spot your location using something called Wi-Fi triangulation, which is on my location video. Now, Google has said that they will exclude your router from the Wi-Fi geolocation database if you put the name underscore no map underscore no map and they want every other company to support that I have no idea who supports it but if I can get Google to be less accurate then what the Zuck let's do it let's put underscore no map on your Wi-Fi name you've heard of something called the crack attack k-r-a-c-k which is used to hack routers if you have an updated router, that is not going to be an issue anymore. If you have an updated OS, that's not going to be an issue anymore. So don't worry about that now. That's, that's gone. That's an old thing from 2017. Now, these are not tips on safety, but tips on usability. How, how do you make your Wi-Fi perform well in your home? Well, well, a trick that is not well known is that you should use channels 1, 6, and 11 only if you're using 2.4 gigahertz, do not use any other channel. 1, 6, or 11. This has to do with overlaps. I have a video on my playlist that explains that in detail. But just choose 1, 6, or 11. Now, if you have microwaves around you, you may find that you have to choose 1 or 11 or 6, depending on the kind of microwave. So you're going to have to test that. Microwaves will affect some of those frequencies more. So choose the channel that works for you. If you can, if you can use 5 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz does not get affected by a microwave. The problem with 5 gigahertz is that it is short range. So if you have a 
a ability to get close to the Wi-Fi router, then stick to five gigahertz and you can use double channels. Do not use double channels on 2.4 gigahertz. You'll just get into problems. Do not double the channel. Some new Wi-Fi's have that offering, double channels. No, don't do that. In case you get hacked, because you never know, your Wi-Fi could be hacked and your neighbor or somebody else could be using your Wi-Fi. It is best to always use a VPN even in your house. That way your traffic is encrypted at all times. That's it, folks. See you next time for more tips from Rob Braxman. And subscribe to this channel, please, and click on that notification bell.